Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Over the years, I have had a number of, shall we say, unprofessional insults from scoffers. Victor Stegner, the famous physicist, called me a charlatan in an interview, and somebody said, a charlatan? Oh yes, Krippner is the biggest charlatan of them all, which I took as sort of an honor. And then C.E.M. Hansel, a British psychologist, mm -hmm. in his book, which debunked parapsychology, said that the people had been shown the picture before the telepathy started, which was a complete fabrication. I mean, uh, you, you bring them into the dream laboratory, show them the picture, and say, we want to see if you're going to have a dream about this picture. Can you later. imagine? Yes. <laughs> and that misstatement still uh -huh. exists on Wikipedia to this day. It has taken on a life of its own. Uh, Yes. Obviously, it's to create the image of you as a parapsychologist of being a complete idiot. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Many people corrected Hansel. He came out with the same statement as the revision of the book. Yeah. So, also, Paul Kurtz, uh, who absolutely... Who, who was a brilliant philosopher. One of the founders and, of the uh, Committee for the Scientific Investigation of the Claims of the Paranormal. That's a, right. A group and, of debunkers. And he gave me, gave me the Silver Spoon Award for having a spoon in my mouth in terms of my absurd statements about parapsychology. Well, none of those people ended up in the book because they've all now passed away. Mm -hmm. So, as is famously said, about the dead, lest nothing negative be said. So the people who have survived, I'm on friendly terms with, and I invited them to contribute chapters to the book. Uh, one of them, James Alcock from Canada, one of them, Christopher French from England, um, Michael Shermer from uh, California, and uh, Ray Hyman from Oregon, and Richard Wiseman from from England, These actually are all from Scotland. prominent skeptics. All prominent skeptics. They mm -hmm. all wrote very, very fine articles. They all appear in the book along with parapsychologists making their statement. And then this is the first, the two of them debate each other. Mm -hmm. And they debate each other, all gloves off, bare knuckle debates. It's point very by point. You bet. Mm -hmm. Very, very spirited books. Yeah. I made very sure that the that the scoffers would have the same number of words as the proponents. I call them proponents and the counter, I call them advocates and counter advocates. And the name mm -hmm. of the book is Debating Psychic Experiences. And so um, we got pretty good reviews of the book. Of course, it was ignored by most of the mainstream uh, scientific organizations, which is a pity and was not even highlighted by the skeptical organizations themselves, which is a pity. But I was so happy that I was able to have good collaboration with people who were in the book. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the most, uh, shall we say, the best known scoffer is the amazing Randy. And he was not an academic, so he doesn't appear in the book. But I've actually gotten along pretty well with him over the years. And he recently gave an interview to a magazine who had a feature article about me. And they, everybody was talking about such positive things about me. They said, well, the person who is bound to say something negative is the amazing Randy. So he came out with the statement, you know, in this field, there are so few people you can depend upon, but I can always depend upon Stan because he is completely unbiased. Oh. Yeah, very nice compliment mm -hmm. from Randy. And I think the reason for that is, whenever he makes a misstatement, I point it out to him. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm a confrontational person. I wish more people would be confrontational with me. There are many people who I used to know who will not even answer my emails because they don't want a confrontation with me. 
but I really push and shove. Mm -hmm. Randy made three incorrect statements. He backed down. He apologized for all three. So I think I have his respect.